Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to the Daily Nerd Live Sunday edition. How are you all doing this wonderful weekend, or the end of the weekend really, uh, for the likes of me over in the UK? Um, yeah, let's have, uh, yeah, let's have some fun with this, as, as, as much as possible, because yeah, reports are coming in. Uh, the Megzi and Prince Hazza, oh, they are absolutely furious with Hollywood. They are hunting down their enemies over the Emmy snub. Oh, yeah. So we're going to jump into that in a moment. For those that are watching on the replay, fast forward through this bit. But some of you lot have already been sending in support. So first and foremost, Sergeant Harrison. Yeah, Sergeant George Harrison in the house. And yeah, she has just kicked off today's Gifting Wars with 10 leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot out there. So everyone say A up to our newest leaders. Thanks to our Sergeant George Harrison. Thank you so much, hun. Really appreciate your face. Um, if we also double check, why is this? Oh, it's the only one that, it's the only one that works at the moment that does this. So bear with me, guys, bear with me. Uh, Amanda says, yay, I made it before the start for once. Evening all. Evening. Thank you so much for making it, Amanda. Really, really appreciate your face there. Um, <laughs> Sophia's like, did you even sleep after Colonel Kurtz? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, also, as well, uh, thank you so, so much uh, to General Scott uh, with the Super Chat sticker. Really, really appreciate your face. But also, as well, uh, the General gifted five leaderships to some of you lucky lot out there. So everyone say A up as well to our newest leaders, courtesy of General Scott. Really appreciate your face as always, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, so, yeah, who else is going to dive into today's gifting war? We've already started off with 15 new leaders for today's stream. Not even, we haven't even started the main topic yet. So, who else is going to jump into today's gifting war and be like, General, Sergeant, this is how we do it. We may find out, guys. We may find out. Uh, loving the A-ups in the chat right now. So that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and so many people complimenting my hair. This is can't be bothered hair. <laughs> this is like hair. I just can't be bothered. So I just let it just dry like this. So this is what you've got. This is what you've got. Deal with it. Uh, <laughs> and Peter was out it was out which I really can't pronounce your last name. I'm an absolute idiot when it comes to pronunciations. Apologies, but Peter, thank you so much for that wonderful and very very generous ten dollar super chat. And oh my goodness, it's basically a game controller, and it's like level up, level up. Yes, we are all about leveling up. Absolutely. Uh, I've actually, speaking about my hair, I've got a hair appointment next Saturday uh, to get the colour redone. I had it done like just over a month ago, but it's not, it's not right, guys. So we're going back and getting it redone. So that's going to be an adventure. And my whole skin improvement uh, continues, my glow up, like my evolution uh, to, you know, be happier with myself and, you know, be better, continue. So that's always good, right? Um, <laughs> Katie Artis be like, gosh, I wish that was my can't be bothered hair. <laughs> hey, I used to be bullied over my hair. People were like, you know, it looked like, people would say that it looked like I got, like, dragged backwards through a hedge. Yeah, I got really bullied about my hair, amongst other things that I got bullied about. But there we go. Uh, Peter be like, you did great with the pronunciation of your last name. No, I can't even pronounce the name right. <laughs> Apparently, I did great, according to Peter. That'll do for me. Uh, and the general, again, gifting another five leaderships to you lucky lot. Because 
General be like to Sergeant. Sergeant, you did 10. Guess what? I can do 10 too. Booyah. Woo. Mic drop. So everyone say A up to our newest leaders, uh, courtesy of the general and the sergeant. Who else is going to jump into today's gifting war? Because that makes it 20 new leaders for today's stream so far. Can we get to 25? A quarter of a century. We may soon find out. Also as well, there's 280 of you watching. 101 likes. Can we get to 200 likes? I'm sure we can get there. So smash that like button if you're appreciating all the content that I'm giving you guys so far. And if you love these streams, definitely smash the like button. It helps with engagement, but it also helps with the algorithm. So more people get to discover our little community here because we are so close now to 72,000 alternates. Like, no joke, at the moment we are at 71,956 alternates. We just need 44 brand new alternates to click that subscribe button and we get to 72k. Woo! We're getting close to that silver play button, guys. We're getting super, super close. So thank you so, so much for all your support so far, uh, for your subscription, for your liking, commenting, having fun and all that jazz. You guys are awesome. And Sergeant George Harrison has been a leader for two months. Thank you so much for your continued support, hon. Really, really appreciate your face there. So, uh, with that being said, guys, let's jump into today's main topic. Keep the support coming through, though, as I'm going through it, because I'll get to it as and when I can in between, all right? So, here we go. Um... It ain't clickbait, guys. This is not clickbait. Uh, Megzi and Hazard are tracking down the Hollywood enemy who sabotaged them. Yep. So, essentially, as we all know, it was heavily rumoured uh, that their mockumentary, Harry and Meghan from Netflix, was going to be nominated for an Emmy. However, shock twist, it didn't happen, did it? Oh, no. Uh, now, apparently it was a huge hit with fans. No, it wasn't a huge hit with fans. Let's be very, very clear on this, okay? People watched it because of curiosity, not because they were fans. People watched it to see what else they were going to say. I know I watched it because I wanted to know what they were going to say. And let me keep it 100. I was going to grift off of it. Like, what do I do? I talk about Megzi, Hazard, and the royal family. So it was a prerequisite that I was going to be watching it for this channel, for you guys, right? Amongst many, many others. So for me to turn around and be like, it was a huge hit with fans. Well, I suppose for the sugars. If you want to call them fans. Uh, quickly becoming one of the most streamed shows on the platform. Again, not because it was a huge hit with fans, but because everyone was just very curious as to what they were going to say. And people were grifting off of it, like me. Let's keep call a spade a spade here. Uh, the snub wasn't the only blow, though, that faced in recent weeks. We know that the Spotify deal has come to an end. The Netflix deal is in the balance. Uh, but now they are absolutely, like, stung after being rejected at the Emmys and are now trying to track down the people in Hollywood who orchestrated a hate campaign against them and in turn stopped them from getting shortlisted. So they're blaming everyone but themselves as to why they were not good enough to get an Emmy. Like, the hubris of these people, right? Now, the Insider Spill to Heat magazine, which I've got right here, okay? So I'm actually going to be reading from this uh, in a moment. Uh, so we're going to get the full quotes and everything, uh, saying, quote, the fact that they didn't get an Emmy nod is a huge kick in the teeth. Uh, the source revealed that stinging at the rejection big time, adding that convinced there's been an orchestrated hate campaign against them on both sides of the Atlantic and that certain people are trying to get in on the act of picking on them and scoring brownie points with the British royals. She's the freaking bed! How many times do I have to say this? Stop 
bad-mouthing the royal family. Stop bad-mouthing the British public. The sooner you do that, the freaking better. No one likes it when they bad-mouth the royal family. No one likes it when they bad-mouth the freaking country. A nation. You think them turning round and being like, oh, the royal family's evil, oh, the British people is evil, we're victims, Where? as they're doing it in a multi-million mansion, having a life of privilege is going to endear them to the public. Those dumb idiots! Idiots! Quite frankly, the series was just not good enough. It can easily come down to that. But oh no, allegedly it's, no, 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 no. It's, 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 it's not us, it's, it's someone else that stopped us. They're blaming everyone but themselves. Always, always. This is nothing different. The source goes on saying it makes them sick and they're looking to weed out these people one by one. Well, that's going to take a while because it ain't there. Think about it this way. There's many other shows in the past that have not been nominated for Emmys. Does that then automatically mean that there was a concerted hate effort against them to not get nominated for Emmys? Oh, no. It only has to be a hate effort for uh, Harry and Meghan because it's Harry and Meghan, right? Because it's them, it has to be a hate campaign. What Freaking planet do they live on? Because I tell you something, it ain't planet Earth. I'm telling you that right now. This is freaking insane. Insane. Um, they then explain that the couple want a full inquest on who put the boot in and what on earth they've got to do to catch a break after the Emmy snub. I tell you what to do to catch a break. Stop bad-mouthing the royal family. Stop bad-mouthing the British public. Leave us the frick alone. Because the majority of it, we've debunked as far as we're concerned as freaking lies anyway. And nothing really that they said in Harry and Meghan was different to everything that they said prior to that against us and the royal family anyway. Think about it. Apparently, we're all racist. Apparently, we're all mean and nasty towards Meghan and we're misogynistic, this, that, and the other. And apparently, Megzi is freaking Princess Diana, bloody 2.0. That ain't hardly groundbreaking shit. I'm telling you that right now. Especially when they've said all that bollocks before. And guess what? Being debunked. Being very much debunked. This whole thing of that Britain wasn't um, uh, welcoming towards Megzi. I did a video months ago now. Go back on it, okay? And it was a timeline uh, from when Megzi met Hazard all up to the point of the wedding, right? And interjected out of, interjected with it all, I quoted um, newspaper articles. And a lot of the time I was asking, Guys, here's a newspaper article. Do you see any misogyny, misogyny in this? Do you see any racism in this? No. Well, let's move on then. This whole thing of Megzi was a victim right from the beginning is BS. This whole thing of the royal family and the British public are the big bad is BS. And guess what? Maybe, just maybe... The Emmys realised it was BS and therefore didn't nominate them. So what if it was successful in terms of streaming numbers? Being successful in terms of streaming numbers doesn't necessarily then automatically mean that you're going to get freaking nominated for an Emmy. Think about it this way, right? If that's the logic that they're going with, then Marvel movies should have been freaking nominated for Oscar movies a hundred times freaking over. A hundred times freaking over. Why is it all of a sudden they didn't get nominated so it's a freaking hate campaign? This is nuts. Uh, Laurie in uh, CT. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for the ginger doggy farting hearts moment. Really appreciate it. It's my favorite one, guys. Uh, so keep them coming. 
I definitely need them. Definitely need them at this point. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. It makes them sick. They're looking to weed out these people one by one. They want a full inquest. Who the frick did they think they are? They want a full inquest? Who the hell? If this is true, who the hell does Megzi and Azza think they are that they're demanding a freaking full inquest as to why they didn't get nominated? If anything, this looks like, if it is true, right, for them being so freaking losers. Because guess what? The logic tracks, right? Let's say in an alternate universe, right, they get nominated. Fine. But they don't win. Oh, well, it's a hate campaign. We were sure to win and we didn't win. So we want a full inquest and we want to hunt down the people that put the boot in and stopped us. <laughs> Get freaking Ben. Get freaking Ben. This is insane. And maybe... Just maybe the Emmys is slightly rooted in reality and realizes that Hazza and Megzi are not popular. They are not liked. Look at all the recent polls. The last one I saw, they were less popular than freaking Prince Andrew. And that is saying something. Why would the Emmys want to nominate two people that are less popular than freaking Prince Andrew? This is not a concerted hate campaign against them. Freaking Hollywood opened their arms up to them when they came, when they first arrived. But now they're seeing them for what they really are. Effing grifters, right? They cannot pull the wool over people's eyes anymore, especially Hollywood. It's not automatically you have a freaking royal title. That means then that all doors need to open and you automatically have freaking talent. No. Talentless freaking hacks, I'm telling you. The both of them. Now, this is the thing, right? The report here is that the Netflix series ticked all the boxes to be in the running. Uh, because shows eligible for the Emmys must have been broadcast in America between June the 1st, 2022 and May the 31st, 2023. Uh, and Meghan and Harry's docu-series uh, dropped onto Netflix around the globe on December the 8th, 2022. Um, yeah. They tick the boxes, as in one box, when it was released. That's it. That's it. Did it tick the boxes in terms of it being engaging, entertaining, groundbreaking, and anything else that the Emmys is looking for? Quite clearly not. Oh, but that means it's a hate campaign and there's people in Hollywood conspiring against them, so they're going to weed them out and hunt them down. Because, of course, it's a vendetta against them. Who the frick do they think they are? And guys, if you're appreciating this rant right now, I wasn't actually expecting to rant away like this, but here we go. Uh, make sure you're liking this stream right now and you subscribe for more rants because, um, yeah, I like to rant from time to time. Here we go. Uh, th this, though, absolutely is grinding my gears. Um, it's not all bad news. Uh, the docuseries was nominated for Best Streaming Nonfiction Series in the Hollywood Critics Award, HCA, just mere weeks ago. Exactly. They still got nominated for an award that no one really cares about, but they still got nominated. So how can there be a concerted hate campaign in Hollywood against the couple when they still got nominated in a Hollywood Critics Award? I mean, the, the clue's there in the name. Hollywood. It's like they want to cry victim all the time. Bog off. Uh, Peter, thank you so much for the $5 super chat saying they act like five-year-olds, but that's insulting to a five-year-old. Yes, I absolutely agree. Uh, and Jean Rick, thank you so much for the ginger doggy fighting hearts moment. Really, really appreciate your face. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Um... Kitsy Bits, this is a really, really good point. Nobody wants to give an award to people who rip apart a 96-year-old woman who was grieving for her husband. Facts! Facts! 
And it's and and the thing is here, what we're talking about and what we have talked about in the past. And again, I did a video on this, guys. I keep up to date with this shiz. I've done a video on a lot of things with these two, right? But Hollywood at the moment is apparently seeing the light. And allegedly, they're distancing themselves away from Hazard and Megzi because they want to align themselves more with the royal family, and in particular, Princess Catherine and Prince William. Because when they go to the UK and they do their uh, movie premieres, this, that, and the other, they would prefer Prince William and Princess Catherine to come along. That ain't a concerted hate effort against freaking Azra and Megzi. That's just pure business and freaking common sense to realize that Prince William and Princess Catherine are more liked and more freaking popular than Azra and freaking Megzi. But oh no, it's a hate campaign, right? The, the mental gymnastics, if this is true, is insane. Um... Sergeant George Harrison, thank you so much for the very generous $20 super chat saying, narcissistic behavior 101. I think that Hollywood has more things to worry about than these petulant children chucking a hissy fit. Come on, seek medical help, both of you. Yes! Petulant children chucking a hissy fit. Absolutely. And then I do believe if this is true, it's extremely narcissistic to think it's all about them. There's a hate campaign against them to thwart their Hollywood career. Guys, they're doing it themselves. They are screwing up themselves. Let's go. Let me show you. So, Kaza and Megzi have botched their own Hollywood futures and let their empire slip away. The only people they need to blame is the ones that are looking straight back at them in the freaking mirror. In the freaking mirror. Um, so, you know, you've got the $20 million Spotify deal that's absolutely gone, disintegrated. Why? Because of low productivity. Or as one executive said, they're effing grifters. Netflix is hanging in the balance. Why? Well, since they signed that deal nearly three years ago, they only have done two projects, the Ari and Megan mockumentary and the Live to Lead that no one watched because it was absolute shiz, right? Again, low freaking productivity. Um, Tirana, thank you so much for the ginger doggy farting hearts moment. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Keep them coming, keep them coming. But yeah, you have the memoir spare. Yes, was it successful in terms of sales? Yes. Was it successful in terms of improving their image? No. Why? Because again, it was wah, all the way freaking through. And more attacks against the royal family, more attacks against the British public. South Park did an amazing job with that worldwide privacy tour episode. They've done it to themselves. But they can't bear to blame themselves, it looks like. What the hell? What? The freaking hell! They are talentless hacks. Um, now, Bethany Frankel, she keeps coming up time and time again now in terms of commentating on these two, which I'm appreciating. Uh, she's a real housewife star. Uh, and she said to her TikTok followers, and she's got 1.4 million of them, saying, quote, I almost feel badly. Like, I think I do feel badly because I can't imagine having so much at your fingertips and letting it all slip away because of living inside your own head. And thinking about every single thing that you do and say and want is so fascinating that you should be accepting awards at podiums around the world. It's like that, it's like we expect the accolades, we expect because of who we are. No! You gotta freaking work for it! And not low productivity levels and being effing grifters. Uh, Catherine James, welcome to the leadership, honey. Really, really appreciate your face. Uh, thank you, thank you so, so much for clicking that join button. Hope to see you at the next Leader Only stream. So thank you so much for that, honey. And then they've got the freaking... 
freaking audacity, guys, allegedly, right, and this was reported, that they were blaming their failures, right, on COVID, the financial state of the economy, the ill health and death of Prince Philip, and the ill health and death of Queen Elizabeth II. All this alleged, mind you, all this alleged. <laughs> I did a video on that as well. Debunking every single freaking one. And now the new one is, well, there is Hollywood here. There's an insider that's got it against us. There's a vendetta. They want to ruin us. Blah, 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 blah. What the hell? Uh, Gail Andres, thank you so, so much for the Ginger Doggy Fighting Hearts moment. Really, really appreciate your face. And General Scott, thank you so much for the $5 super chat, my friend, uh, saying Queen staff have to go off duty. But we'll be listening. I want to see likes. I want to see subs. I want to see mugs. I want to see ginger doggy fighting hearts. And I want to see them now. General has given his orders out. You must comply, guys. You must comply. Uh, Kit Can Canu. Exactly. They are their own demise. They are their own demise. Uh, everyone's asking me to put the red light on. Can't right now. I have to sort out my stream deck. Apologies. Imagine it's there. Imagine it's there. But Chandler, you're right, honey. Everyone, make sure you subscribe to my friend Chandler here. The show just wasn't good enough. It just wasn't. But oh no, they're not nominated for an Emmy. Therefore, it means there's a hate campaign. Someone's out to get them to ruin them. So they must do an inquest to weed them out. Who the frick do they think they are if this is true? Uh, David, no. Woo! Wow! David be like, I can jump in on this gifting war as well. Gifting one leadership to some of you lucky lot out there. So everyone say A up to our newest leader. Thanks to David. My goodness. David be like, I can do a gifting war as well. And this is how you do it. Thank you so much, David, for that. Really, really appreciate your face. And Lisa, Lisa, thank you so much for the ginger doggy fighting hearts moment. Really, 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 really appreciate your face. Keep them coming. It is my favorite one. Um. But this is the thing, right? Let's get to Heat News, Heat Magazine, all right? Um, because this is where it's all come from, this particular magazine, right? Uh, before I do so, Denise, uh, thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership, uh, saying if Harry can find his way without Hollywood here in the US, I'd give him mad props. Meg needs Hollywood and he's dragging Harry in the mud. This is the problem. They both need Hollywood. They both need Hollywood, honey, because how else are they, um, uh, how do I put this? How else are they going to make money? They need Hollywood. But this is the problem. Don't bite the hand that freaking feeds, right? They need Hollywood for the big books to be able to maintain their lifestyle, their mortgage, their house, everything, right? And if they're turning around and they're saying, well, hang on a minute, someone in Hollywood is acting against us. We should have got that Emmy nomination. Someone ruined it for us. We're going to weed them out. We're going to hunt them down. We're going to do an inquest. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you, but if I was Hollywood, I'd be like, uh, you freaking what? Who the frick do you think you are? This ain't England. Piss off back. No, I don't want them back. We don't want them back. <laughs> I don't want them back. We don't want them back, you know? But yeah. yeah. This ain't going to make them friends in Hollywood at all if this is true. If anything, they're losing them. Uh, check out my video from yesterday, the live stream from yesterday. Uh, Victoria Beckham and David back them around. Because apparently they're accusing them of leaking stories. David and Victoria Beckham leaking stories is as much plausible as me freaking fighting hearts like the ginger doggy. It's not going to happen. It's never happened, all right? The frick? So this is the article that this has all come from, right? Um, and on Heat News, it says, uh, Meghan and Harry, why does Hollywood hate us? Uh, the Sussexes are feeling scorned. And at the, uh, in, on the uh, cover, it says Megan's fury over Hollywood hate campaign, right? And so the feeling irritated uh, that their series was overlooked for an Emmy nomination. Uh, they're upset, the insider tells Heat. Uh, the next aim is to become Hollywood sleuths to discover who isn't in their corner. So if you're not in their corner, guys, 
Uh, they've got a problem with you. What? This is the thing, right? So, I'm, I'm, as you can tell, I'm a YouTuber. I am very much aware some people are going to like me, some people aren't. Does that mean that there's some people that don't like me, I've got to hunt them down and be like, you've got to like me. You've got to be on my side. The freaking what? No, 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 no. There's always going to be people that just don't like you and that's okay. But this need, allegedly, for everyone to like him is freaking pathological. Um, the fact they didn't get an Emmy nod is a huge kick in the teeth. Uh, this is the Oscars of TV after all, and they're stinging at the rejection big time. They're convinced there's been an orchestrated hate campaign against them on both sides of the Atlantic, and that certain people are trying to get in on the act. Um of picking on them and scoring brownie points with the British royals. It makes them sick, and they're looking to weed out these people one by one. Get freaking Ben! Get freaking Ben! Uh, Chandler, thank you so much for joining the leadership, honey. You really didn't have to. That's very, very kind. Everyone, make sure you subscribe to my friend Chandler uh, over on YouTube. Uh, and Denise! Denise be like... I could do a gifting war as well, but just five leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot out there. So everyone say A hey, up to our newest leaders, courtesy of Denise. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. So, weeding them out one by one? Who the frick do they think they are? Um... So the, N the Emmy snub, according to an industry expert, raises questions about their standing and what the future holds. I'll tell you what the future holds. Obscurity. Oblivion. They fade away. Because they're, they're finally opening their eyes and they're realizing that Megzi and Hazard are just not worth the gazillions. They're not, they're not, they've got no talent whatsoever. Apart from whining about their freaking life and the, and the royal family and the British public. Get Ben. Uh, the insider adds it's a significant setback for the couple, um, as being recognised would have been powerful validation of their work. Nah, we would have just thought they'd bought the freaking Emmy at the end of the day. Huh. Simple as. Uh, despite the series receiving a Hollywood Critics Award nomination, we're told that this hasn't suffered the Emmy's blow. No, it has to be an Emmy, guys. Can't be on any award. No, it has to be the best, guys. Ungrateful twits. Um, and now uh, Megzi is intent on creating her own Mean Girls-style burn book to decipher where the lack of support is coming from. Uh, the source says it hasn't even occurred to her or Harry that the show might have come across as subjective or unfair. It's like, they're, they're freaking blind. Part of the frustration with these two is, as far as I'm concerned, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, they are blind. They are so up their freaking own backsides. They think what they're doing is so freaking righteous. And that they're in the right and everyone should love them, this, that, and the other. They are blind not to know that actually what they're doing is making more people dislike them. They're freaking delusional. Um... They thought it was a modern day masterpiece and had the champagne on ice the morning of nominations ready to celebrate. Except the competition is fierce, but the sheer amount of money and effort that was put into this made them hyper confident they'd have a seat at the top table at the Emmys this September. Wow. The absolute narcissism, if this is true. They had the champagne ready on ice to celebrate their Emmy nomination. It ain't freaking guaranteed until it's announced. Wow. Again, if this is true, the entitlement. Now, with Prince Hazard, I can understand that he does have a level of a sense of entitlement because he's a prince, right? He was brought up in the royal family. Entitlement is part of the whole kind of kit and caboodle of his lifestyle, right? I can understand it from him, but Megzi? <sniffs> Get freaking Ben! 
K-A-R-A-S-T. Uh, thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat saying, documentaries are supposed to win awards for inspiring content, not whining like children about hateful families and imaginary racism. Snapped! This is it! This is it, guys! Yes! Absolutely! I'm leaving this up here for a while. Totally! But no, they're not letting this slide without a full inquest about how all this all went down, who put the boat in, and what on earth they've got to do to catch a break. Again, what do they have to do to catch a break? Freaking stop throwing the royal family under the bus, stop throwing the British public in the under the bus, and actually start freaking working and not grifting. Do more than one hour a freaking week each for Archwell Foundation, right? Spend all the money instead of three million out of thirteen million dollars. You know, actually do some good. Use your platform for good. They, haven't I always said when they left the royal family, they were in a prime, really, really good position to use their platform for good and actually change the world. They had that at their feet. Instead, they went wah. All freaking over. Wasted opportunity. Wasted. But they've got to blame everyone else but themselves, allegedly, according to this article. They are freaking idiots. Um, the source says that as much as they want to get to the bottom of it, Harry and Meghan do want to do not want to be lambasted as sore losers and will be using all their remaining A-list allies in their fight back. Dudes, if they are actually, right, doing a freaking inquest to root out the people that are their enemies in Hollywood because they got snubbed at the, an uh, at the Emmys, what did I say earlier on? That makes them look like freaking sore losers. You can't have it both ways. To turn around and be like, right, we're going to do an inquest. We're going to find out who's going against us and why we didn't get this Emmy nomination because we should have got it. And then turn around and say, but hang on a minute, we don't want to be looking like sore losers, but we're going to do it anyway. Again, get freaking Ben. The double speak on these two, if this is true. Uh, we're told it's a fine balancing act. It's not a fine balancing act. They're either going to do it or not. If they do it, they look like sore losers. If they don't, they're moving on and fair enough, well done. There's no balancing act to this. This is delusional. Um, <laughs> it's a fine balancing act. The last thing they need right now, the source says, is to put more people's backs up and look like perennial crybabies. They already look like perennial crybabies. They already look like that. What have they done every single step of the way? Nothing but where Against us, against the royal family, against the British public, against our culture, our freaking identity, the whole damn lot. They already have that, that, um... Uh, uh, oh, I'm having a brain fart right now. I'm that incensed. They already have that image of perennial crybabies. They already got that. South Park immortalized it in the end. They're screwed. Uh, but they hope some of their high-powered friends like Oprah and Ellen can fish around and see what's going on. You think... Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah Winfrey have got the freaking time, if this is true, to freaking weed out who's going against Megzi and Azza. Freaking get Ben. Oprah Winfrey don't give a shiz anyway as far as I'm concerned because she didn't even invite Azza and Megzi to a birthday party earlier on this year. Megzi and Azza turn around and they say, oh, well, we didn't go because we didn't want to... Um, attract any undue or unwanted attention to Oprah's birthday party. But within 24, 48 hours, they're seen at Ellen's house with the vowel renewal that was going on there. Again, get freaking Ben! 
Then they'll be in a stronger position to understand how this setback happened and retaliate against anyone who sabotaged them. No one sabotaged them. The only people, if there's going to be any form of sabotage, is themselves. Time and time again, they've been getting negative press. Why? Because they've been throwing us and the royal family under the bus. When are they going to learn that there is clearly a pattern? Bad mouth the royal family and the British public. Your popularity levels go further down. There's a clear freaking pattern here. There is no Sven Garley, no idiot in Hollywood that's sabotaging them. They're doing it them freaking selves. But no, they have to blame someone else instead of themselves because they're freaking perfect, right, guys? No freaking flies on them, right? <sighs> like, they want the awards for as less work as possible. Are you shizzing me? Get freaking Ben! Kelly Cat, exactly! They are a joke all around the world. Totally agree. Amanda Jane says delusions of grandeur. Yes! Yes! Totally delusions of grandeur. Um, we've got 600 of you watching at the moment, 387 likes. Guys, if you are appreciating this rant-a-thon at the moment, because I am absolutely, like, incensed with this story, uh, make sure you're giving this stream a big, massive likes up right now. Let's get to a monkey, guys. Let's get to 500. We got to 500 less yesterday. Let's get to 500 again and achieve a monkey. Because, yeah, in the UK, 500 means a monkey, so... There we go. There we go. Um, Jean Woodhouse says, um, why can't they just understand? Their PR aren't telling them the truth, that's for sure. Everyone loves you, yuck. Well, firstly, thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership, Jean. And this is the thing, actually, um, with their PR. I, um, I don't... I don't think it's going to be too long until they change their PR team because they're going to blame them as well. And um, I did do a video earlier on this week on this as well. Megzi has been signed uh, to William Morris Agency now for three months and there's been nothing. No new announcements. No new projects for her. There were rumours she was going to be a face of Dior. Within 24 hours, Dior said, get Ben. There were rumours that she was going to star in Bodyguard 2. 24 hours. Producers be like, get Ben. Nothing's coming up because no one freaking likes her. She doesn't have that likability factor. And if she doesn't have the likability factor, she doesn't have the earning factor. The money factor. You're going to be liked to make money, right? Especially in Hollywood. They're not stupid. It's a freaking business. <sighs> Brandon be like, they need to play that song Man, Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson and do some self-reflection. Damn right they do. Uh, and thank you so much for the likes jumping up to 422. Oh, my goodness. Guys. Keep smashing that like. We are well on our way to our monkey of 500. So let's get it done. Uh, Sergeant George Harrison, thank you so much for the $15 super chat saying, where's the PR not doing their job? Makes you wonder if she even has a PR firm right now. Well, allegedly, I had heard through the grapevine a rumor that their old PR uh, left them. Uh, I think it was like Goldman Sachs or something like that. Um, or maybe I'm getting mixed up. Uh, because of non-payment. Just heard that. Just a rumour. That's all. But Sergeant, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, guys, I'm going to be continuing to talk to the live chat. But everyone that's watching on the replay, uh, thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, uh, make sure on your way out, you are subscribing to join this alternate tribe. 
Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there. I'll be honest with you. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also, as well, for those on the replay, if you've got some very, very strong opinions about what we've just discussed on my major epic rant, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And, oh, yeah. Let's get back to the live chat. Guys, this is how it works uh, for this particular portion of the live stream. Anyone that sends me a PayPal stream elements or a YouTube super chat, that will automatically, guaranteed, get read out. Everyone else, let's put it this way. If it jumps out to me, I'll read it, but it's not guaranteed to be read out. So there we go, guys. Uh, Edward says... All it showed was a lack of forethought and empathy. Also, any sensitivity, they just look like fools and always will. Yes, they will. They look like fools and they always will. Still trying to be like, we're the victims. But this time, oh no, they're not the victims of freaking royal family in the British public. They're now victims of Hollywood. Oh my goodness. You can't make this shiz up. Uh, Brandon's got a good point. Ellen has her own PR work to do to fix her image if she cares. Exactly. The last thing that she's going to be doing is being like, okay, I'll be your sniffer dog. Ellen ain't a freaking sniffer dog and neither is Oprah. They've both got better things to be doing with themselves. We can get Ben. Misty says, I'm glad they're finally getting their comeuppance. Yeah. Is the consequence of being grifters. Uh, Adventures Inward. Oh, thank you so much for the wonderful $2 super chat. And again, it's my favorite, the ginger doggy fighting hearts moment. Keep the ginger doggy fighting hearts moments coming. I really, really do like them. They're my favorite super chat stickers. So thank you so much for that. I like this one. She's a cosplay duchess. I like that one. I like that one. Thank you very much, Kitsy Bits, for that one. Um... And we are now 50 likes away from a monkey uh, to 500 likes. So let's achieve the monkey for today's stream, guys. Uh, let's work together and get that done. Uh, Linda says, Ellen and Oprah don't give a flying rat's behind. No, they don't. Ultimately, the only people that they care about is Ellen and freaking Oprah. Simple as. Uh, Wendy, thank you, thank you so, so much for the $4.99 super chat. Oh! Ooh, and it's Mr. Green Blob having a celebration. I love it. Thank you so much. And Adventures Inward, thank you so much uh, for sharing the Upview AI. Yeah, if you guys go on to, um, and I'll show you it here, of what Adventures Inward is talking about. If you go to upview.ai, uh, get yourself on our wait list. Uh, the app is close to uh, completion for us to release it. And what this means is, essentially, let's give it in a nutshell. Upview, we are creating an app that for YouTubers is going to allow you through the power of AI to get more views and more subscribers. It's as simple as that. All through the power of AI. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you sign up to the wait list because that does two things. Firstly, it means that you're one of the first to get your mitts on the app as soon as we release it. Secondly, the more people we get signed on the wait list, uh, the more easier it is to attract investors because the more investors we get, the more money we can put back into the app and get it developed further because you, uh, Upview 1.0 is just that, Upview 1.0. We have got future plans with this app that's going to include more functionality and make it even better for you guys, but that involves money. So the best thing you can do to help support that is for everyone that's got a YouTube channel, sign up to our waitlist right now at upview.ai. For those that don't have a YouTube channel, now is the time to make one. And then sign up to upview.ai because I tell you something, I wish something like this was available uh, when I first started out, Steph the Alter Nerd, because I'll tell you something, if this was here like two and a half years ago, I am so freaking confident in saying that we would be at 100k right now. It's as simple as. So, yeah, make sure you get to upview.ai. Uh, and help me out as a favor. Thank you very much, guys. Um, Laura says, I love how the rest of Hollywood doesn't talk about who they're friends with, but Megsy trumpets that business. Oh, yeah. 
She is a proper little name dropper, isn't she, as far as I'm concerned? Opinion because Boozy Thu, whatever. Uh, Adventures Inward. Oh, my goodness. She's also getting in with today's gifting awards. One leadership gifted to one of you lucky lot. Everyone say A up to our newest leader, courtesy of Adventures Inward. And thank you so much, honey, uh, for jumping into today's gifting awards. Who else is going to jump into today's gifting awards and be like, this ain't how you do a gifting war. This is how you do a gifting war. We may soon find out, guys. We may soon find out. Uh, for the kids, uh, thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership, hon, saying, love you, Steph. Love you, too. Uh, you're making a difference in people's lives you will never know of. Your impact, Corey, for one. The legacy you leave is all the people you have touched. Thank you. Um, I'm getting out of my funk. It's going to be a process, but yeah, we'll, we'll, everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. And thank you very much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Um, for the kids, uh, thank you so much for the ginger doggy farting hearts moment. Really appreciate your face. And Nancy DV, I'd be like, I can find the ginger doggy farting hearts moment as well. So, oh yeah, my first. Uh, so yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for that. Um, on, why is that happening? There we go. Uh, and then we've got, oh my goodness. Woo! The sergeant herself be like, this is how you do a gifting war, bitches. Oh my goodness, 20 leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot. Everyone say, hey, up to our newest leaders, courtesy of our sergeant. And uh, hearts in the chat for our sergeant because she brings it every single gifting war. She is like the one to beat, guys. So who is going to step up? Who's going to step up to today's gifting war and be like, I can do one too. We may soon find out, guys. We may soon find out. Um, Jason J says, never got a notification. Thanks, YouTube. Oh, well, thank you so much for being here now, Jason. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at Steph Alternerd. It's in my link tree. Uh, because whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video, I will always put it on Twitter as well. So you'll get notified there much more easier. Uh, B, thank you so much uh, for the 25 knocks. Uh, super chat. Really appreciate your face. Um, Amanda says, uh, there's a common de de denominator in all of them. In all of this, it's them. Oh, yeah. And CO412B says, Steph's on one. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. When I'm on a rant, I'm on a rant. No one could stop me at that point. I'm just like seeing red and just going for it. So, yeah, there you go. I think I've got some unsolved anger issues. <laughs> I use my anger for good, not for evil. There you go. <laughs> uh, Project Metal Music, thank you so much for being a badass mod uh, and sharing our upview.ai link. So, yeah, calling all YouTube content creators. Uh, sign up to our wait list so that you're one of the first to get your mitts on our app to get you more subs and more, su uh, and more views through the power of AI. Simple as that. Um. Water Dragon says, I've seen a narcissist do this before. They think they're all that, but their ego is so fragile, they desperately need others to praise them continuously or they get upset. Yep. Yep. Um. Oh my goodness, Lara Christine Billock! This is how you do a gifting war, butchers! Five leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot out there. Oh, my goodness. Laura, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for jumping into today's gifting. Well, everyone say A up to our newest leaders, courtesy of our Laura. Oh, my goodness. Woo, today's gifting war is certainly heating up, guys. Who else is going to jump in and be part of today's gifting war? We may soon find out, guys. We may soon find out. Um... Matthew says, to survive a gifting war, you got to become a gifting war. Facts. 
So to survive a gifting war, you gotta become a gifting war. You gotta jump in and you gotta do it, guys. So who else is gonna take part in today's gifting war? We may soon find out, guys. We may soon find out. Um, and NPNG Creative Media, thank you so much for the ginger doggy fighting hearts moment. Really appreciate your face with that, hun. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And VV, aka V Bars, another ginger doggy fighting hearts moment. Yay! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you so much. And actually, it's seven more until we achieve a monkey. Uh, yeah, seven more until we get to 500 likes. So everyone that hasn't smashed that like button, smash it right now. If you've appreciated this bit of a rant-a-thong situation, then yeah, come on. Like this video, guys. It's the least you can do. It's the least you can do. There we are. And Tina may. Tina be like, I can get in on this gifting war malarkey as well. And it's gifted one leadership to one of you lucky alternates out there. So again, everyone say, hey, up. To our newest leader, courtesy of our Tina. Thank you so much, Tina, for jumping into today's gifting war. Who else is going to take up the sword and the shield and be like, this ain't how you do a gifting war. This is how you do a gifting war. We may soon find out. We may soon find out. <laughs> uh, Jeff, Be this is funny. They probably throw the spare books at their PR team. Probably. Uh, <laughs> Outlaw 2 says, liking the hair stroke look today. This is can't be bothered hair. This is how my hair is, guys. Oh, my goodness. My eyes are stinging now. This is how my hair is naturally. Like, yeah, this is can't be bothered hair. So there we are. This is what you've got for the next few days. Um, Nick says, people never got on the wrong side of Steph. She's scary when she rants, LOL. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with me. You don't mess with me. I will tear your shiz up. Uh, but yeah, you you know you don't no no. I'm I'm someone you want in your corner. You don't want me on the opposite side. That is for damn sure. That is for damn sure. Uh, because I am very 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 to a fall loyal. To my family and my friends and i will defend them to the freaking death uh best believe if you're in my way <sighs> ain't gonna last too long <laughs> so there we go yeah you don't want to be on the wrong side of me no no i use my rage for good not for evil <laughs> anyways uh, Bobby Stillwell says, love and respect for everyone who gifted memberships. Absolutely. Love and respect to everyone uh, that has taken part in today's gifting war. Uh, you still have time to jump in and take up the sword and the shield so you can do some gifting wars as well. Uh, so who else is going to jump in? We may soon find out. Uh, at the moment, we are on a whopping 55 new leaders for today's stream. Can we get to 60? The big 60, or can we round it up to 60? Guys, we may soon find out. We may soon find out. Uh, Lightfully does that, uh, Divine says, so happy to join you. Well, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate your face, honey. Uh, saying, I've been watching the Nutmeg train wreck since the wedding. You have amazing content. Oh, well, thank you so, so much for just being so kind. Very, very, very kind words there, Lightfully Divine. So thank you so, so much for joining. And if we just refresh, how close are we to 72K? Oh, we're very close. 71,957 of you uh, have just, uh, just have subscribed to join our alternate tribe. So thank you so much to every single one of you so far. We are so close to 72K. Like it's so close, so close. Uh, Wendy Marino, uh, thank you so much uh, for your continued support for the leadership, honey. Uh, saying, someone tell me how to gift TBI. Apparently, it's, um, do you know when you send a super chat or a super chat sticker? Uh, there's the option there as well to do a gift. Apparently. I think that's the way you do it. Um... 
And oh my goodness, we've definitely achieved the monkey! Yes, we've achieved the monkey! Uh, for today's stream, I think I need to um, go back to my animator and get them to design like a monkey animation celebration kind of thing for when we achieve a monkey uh, for 500 likes. Um, I'm, I'm going to contact them afterwards, actually, and get that done. But yes, we're at 520 likes, guys. Woo! Yes, we've achieved a monkey, guys. Uh, thank you so much, but I don't stop there. Guys, if you haven't smashed that like button, let's do it now. It's the least that you guys can do. And yes, the power of the goat sausage compels you to subscribe, like, share, and comment. If you don't understand what the goat sausage is, it's an inside joke. Uh, but all I'm going to say is on Tuesday, when Andy is back live for the Pop Culture Justice live stream, I want you all to flood the chat with hashtag goat sausage. It's a little prank I'm doing on my big brother. What can I say? It's going to be funny. It's going to be funny, guys. It's going to be funny. Um, yay, we got a monkey. 500 likes. Yay. Actually, we're 527 likes. So keep that going, guys. Keep that going. Um, Laura says, uh, in this channel, you can give from your phone if watching on mobile. It's in the same place that you'd send super chats from. There we go. So for anyone that wants to dig into... Uh, today's gifting war. This is how you do it. There you go. Uh, <laughs> um, my cat's name is Karen says, yay, I made the live. Yay. Actually, I was a little bit later than I was planning. Uh, something came up. It's all good. Bit of work. Uh, but yeah. Yay, you made the live. So cool. Uh, Sergeant George Harrison, thank you so much for the $20 super chat saying, got to go, Steph. Become a leader and join us for Steph's monthly members only stream this Friday. Uh, Saturday in my neck of the woods. Love you all. Have an awesome week. Yes. Love you too, Sergeant Harrison. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all, honey. Um, Jackie Swan says, I'm new here. What's a gifting war and how can I join in? Okay. So a gifting war is when people start furiously gifting out memberships to people uh, and seeing, you know, who can actually join in and do that in the first place. And so how you can join in is at, um, underneath where you type, you've got like certain little um, symbols uh, one of which is like the dollar sign symbol. So if you click on that, you can send super chat. You can send a super chat sticker, but you can also gift memberships as well. And so if you gift memberships, that makes you then part of today's gifting war. So there we go. Hopefully I've basically explained that in something that's easy to understand. Does that, work? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Just like Adventures in Wood. Yes, Adventures In will be like, I can continue with this gifting war. Another gifted leadership sent out to one of you, a lucky alternate. So everyone say A up to our newest leader, courtesy of Adventures Inward. And Adventures Inward, I've not forgotten. I'm going to have to message you back uh, and sort out our collaboration. Oh, guys. Oh, Tuesday's Royal Tower be getting even better, guys. I'm telling you, we're going to get some variety in the shells. Um, Ninja Vestos, thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. Keep the super chats coming. Uh, saying, what do you call a wingless fly? A walk. A quick dad joke for you. Okay, what do you call a wingless fly? A walk. They'll get it. You do understand, Ninja Vestos. I mean, you've been here for a while now, okay? You are talking to the literal incarnation of Drax. You know how Andy tries to make me laugh? And it's like, it doesn't work because I take things too literal. I really don't get this. I really, really don't get it. Um, it would just basically be a fly without wings. It won't be called a walk. It'd just be a fly without wings. So where does the walk come in? Like, I don't get it. But thanks for the super chat. If anyone else wants to send a super chat to try and make me laugh, let's go. Let's go. I do need a good laugh, to be fair. So if you guys have any good jokes um, that you think I'm going to laugh at, 
Send me a super chat. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Nick says, until I found LawTube a few years ago, I was literally lost as I was so unhappy. So YouTube has really given me a sense of purpose again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I get that. I get that. YouTube saved me. That's for damn sure. Uh, Hazel Monty Angle. Woo! Hazel Monty Angle be like, I can get in on this gifting wall as well. Five leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot out there. Woo! The gifting wall is on fire today. Guys, you are going nuts at the moment. Everyone is picking up their sword and their shield and they'll be like, I'm ready to do freaking battle. This is how you do a gifting wall, butcher. Woo! Hazel Monty Engel, thank you so much uh, for jumping into today's gifting war. Who else is going to follow the lead and take up the sword and the shield and be like, this is how you do a gifting war. This is how you do a gifting war. We're missing to find out, guys. We're missing to find out. Um... Let's see. NPNG Creative Media. Oh! NPNG Creative Media also wants another piece of today's gifting war. Gifting out a leadership to one of you lucky lots out there. Oh my goodness. Everyone say A up to our newest leader, courtesy of NPNG Creative Media. Woo! Dude be like, I can get in on this gifting war malarkey as well. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, boy. Nice one, nice one, my goodness. Uh, Jeff B's got a really good point. I believe when they divorce, Megan uh, will try to claim money and property from the monarchy. Yeah, she'll try, she'll freaking fail. Uh, not happening, not happening. <laughs> Katie Art is saying, oh no, Drax reading jokes. Anyone that's been here for a while knows I'm the little incarnation of Drax. <laughs> I take things way too literal. It's just the way that my mind works. What can I say, right? Um, so there we go. Uh, Anna Marie says, it can't fly, so it has to walk. It can't fly, so it has to walk. So it's not, it, it's not called walk. It's basically, this is the thing, right? Let's, uh, so can I go back to it? No, I can't now. It's gone. Um. The, the the joke was um yeah here we go i've got it what do you call a wingless fly a walk a walk isn't a noun it's a verb a walk is something that you do i.e a verb it's not um it's not a descriptive it's not a noun in in, in that ways it's not it's not what you call it's what you do so a wingless fly is a fly without wings not a walk so i still the, the logic of the joke does not stand <laughs> sorry ninja vestos it's, it just doesn't stand guys if you want to send me a joke and see if you can either make me laugh or if I tear it apart, then send me a super chat. Quite fun. Uh, Katie Artist says, we need Andy reading dad jokes for Steph again. No, we do not. Do not give him any encouragement whatsoever. Don't be doing that. No, 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 no. Uh, Ninja Vestos, thank you so much for the super chat saying its only option is to walk. Yes, as a verb, not a noun. You can't call a wingless fly a walk because a walk is not a noun, it's a verb. It's basically a fly without wings. Fine. I don't get why it's funny. I just don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, Robin says, it's been a while since uh, I've watched. Wow, your hair looks fabulous. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming back, Robin. Uh, really, really appreciate your face, honey. Completely different hair since the last time I watched. Yeah, this is can't be bothered hair. Mm, happens from time to time. Oh my goodness. 
adventures in would be like. I can continue with this gifting one. It's gifted a leadership to one of you lucky alter nerds out there. So everyone say A up to our newest leader, courtesy of Adventures Inward. Uh, thank you so much for continuing the gifting war. Who else is going to jump in with their sword and shield and be like, Shh, sh, 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 sh. here's the gifting war, bitches. We may soon find out, guys. We may soon find out. Uh, and I am totally super literal. Like, totally super literal. Hi, my name is Steph. Lovely to meet you. I'm the reincarnation of Drax. With the nuttiness and craziness of Rocket Raccoon. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> Rick is like school with Steph. There you go. There you go. Uh, and Anna Marie jumping in with five leaderships gifted to some of you lucky lot. Oh, my goodness. Today's gifting wars is on fire, guys. Everyone say A up to our newest leaders, courtesy of Anna Marie, who's like, I can get in on this gifting war malarkey as well. I know how it works. I know how I can win at this thing. Booyah! There you go. That, that was a booyah gifting war moment, that. Uh, catch up. Thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership, saying, why don't skeletons fight? They don't have the guts, literally. Love you, Steph. Okay. Skeletons cannot fight because they're in the ground. Like, they're buried. They're in the ground. They don't have, like, the tendons and the muscles and the supportive musculature system to be able to move and stand and balance themselves, let alone then having to hold a sword and a shield and be able to fight or a gun or whatever. So yeah, skeletons don't fight because A, physiologically, they can't. It'd be scientifically impossible even if they were, let's say, alive. And B, they're not alive. They're dead. They're in the ground. Like, buried. So, yeah. That's why skeletons don't fight, because they're, they're, they're not alive, they're dead. So, yeah. I get the sentiment that they don't have the guts, but in terms of, like, the joke itself, it don't make sense, because skeletons can't fight. So... Anyone else want to try? Uh, <laughs> catch up, love you. Thank you so much for trying. But yeah, uh, one of these days, one of you guys will make me laugh with a joke. I'm sure of it. So keep trying, guys. Keep trying. Uh, send me a super chat if you want to try that. Uh, try and make Steph laugh. There you go. Uh, Christina says, Steph, you are a godsend to me. Whoa. Whoa. She's the best. Okay. All right. Uh, st uh, Steph, you're a godsend to me. I'm terminal with a rare lung disease. I've been sick since birth, and I love your channel. Thank you. Wow. I'm honored. I'm honored that you're here right now watching this loon rant and rave. Thank you, Christina. But make sure, you know, you're taking care of yourself as much as possible, right? Thank you. Wow. Wow. Everyone, hearts in the chat for Christina. Simple as. Um. Oh my goodness, Rothound! Hey up, Rothound! How's it going? How's it going? And Rich Cher has just become a new leader off the run steam. 
So everyone say hey up to our newest leader, Rich. Really appreciate your face, mate. Thank you so much for that. Um, Peter, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Uh, saying I'm Polish and was trying to send a Polish. But YouTube wouldn't let me LOL. I'm Polish and was trying to send a Polish. But YouTube wouldn't let me. Um, were you trying to say something else? Um, I'm a bit confused. Thing is, though, I was born confused, so it really doesn't. It's, it's not that difficult, you know what I mean? Um, but there we go. Uh, Thomas Roach says, this is a joke, not a logic law class. Who are you again? Sorry, mate, but that is who I am. Someone tells me a joke. I'm either going to do one of two things. I am either going to laugh at it or I am going to break it apart because that's just how my mind works. There is nothing wrong with me not laughing at a joke and treating it like the Drax that I am. I ain't going to change for you and I ain't going to change for no one else. Been there, done that, wore the t-shirt. That ain't happening ever again. I can tell you that right now. I am now free to be me. And it is so freaking good and amazing. It is unreal. So I'm not going to have anyone tell me what I can and cannot do. Or how I am supposed to behave. Not with me. Not with me. I'm just not the channel for you then, if that's the case. Uh, Rich Share, thank you so much for the $13.99 super chat. With the ginger doggy saying good luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I do need all the luck in the world. I really, really do. I'm making this shiz up as I go along most of the time. Uh, Cheryl says, hi, Steph. I've been watching you, but can't afford the membership. Not a problem. My goodness. Cheryl. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. And thank you so much, because I assume you've done this, for liking my videos and my streams and commenting. Like, that is like amazing support that you can give to any YouTuber. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you, honey. Thank you. Uh, Adventures Inward. Okay. Adventures Inward is going to try. Here we go. Thank you so much for $5 Super Chat. Uh, saying... What did the vet say to the cat? How are you feline? Oh, it's like a play on words of how are you feeling and how are you feline? Okay, and? All right. Nice. Cute. 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 This is my question with this particular scenario. Why would the vet be speaking to the cat? The cat can't respond back in English or in human language. Cat just be like meow, right? And that's it. So why would the vet be talking to the cat? If anything, the vet would be talking to the owner and be like, okay, how's the cat been getting on? What's the routine? What's changed? What's not? Like... I get the play on words, but why would the vet be speaking to the cat? Unless it's Dr. Doolittle. Then that would make sense. But we know Dr. Doolittle doesn't exist, so... Uh... Nice try. Thank you very much. Who else is going to try? It's like a proper challenge, guys, to make me laugh. So let's try it. Try it and let's see what happens. Uh, but thank you so much, Adventures in Wood, uh, for trying. Appreciate your face, honey. Like I said, I appreciate the wordplay. But the logic behind it in terms of the scenario doesn't make sense for me. Um, so, yeah, I just dragged that one, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> Matthew says, Andy walks into a bar. It's karaoke time. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, the karaoke session that we had back in November at Vegas was absolutely amazing. Like, from time to time, I actually do re-watch that stream. 
Um, and if you don't know what stream I'm talking about, go back to November. I did a full stream. I think it was like two, three hour stream of us all singing karaoke. So there was myself, Andy, Kim, Kim's fella, Lacey, her dog. You had Paige, you had Amy, you had even fucking Christopher Melcher was there. Uh, we had Marcella, my beautiful friend Marcella. Um, we had David, the ledge, David March. My goodness, we had quite a few and we had so much fun. So much fun. Um, and so, yeah. And he walks into a bar, it's karaoke time. Pretty much, yeah. I'm looking forward to the next karaoke session when we all meet up again. And we all will meet up again. And it will be this year. Um, sneaky little bird is telling me uh, that I'll next be in America in September. Oh, yeah. All I'm going to say is, California, I'm coming for you. <laughs> going to be so much fun. So much fun. Uh, I'll be in San Francisco initially, and then I'll be going, flying down to LA is the plan. So there we go. Uh, Ninja Vestos says, what do you call a can opener that, what do you call a can opener that won't open a can't opener because it won't open? Love you, Steph. Love for Christina. What do you call a can opener that won't open a can't opener because it won't open? Eh? Dude, a can opener opens cans. If it doesn't open a can, there's two reasons behind it. Either the can is defective or the can opener is defective. Although that puts me to mind the last couple of weeks, I actually bought myself one of those tin openers uh, where you got to twist it to open it. Because I had some, I wanted to, right, I wanted to cook some pasta, right, uh, and make, like, uh, it with, like, a tomato sauce out of the uh, jar and everything. And um, I couldn't open the sodding jar. It was so stuck, it was untrue. So I went onto Amazon and I found a jar opener, like an automatic jar opener that's powered by batteries. And, oh, my goodness, it saved my life. That jar opener is one of the most favorite things I have in my kitchen right now. Um, so, yeah, I now have a jar opener, like an automatic, like, jar opener. It is amazing. I don't know. I don't need a man. I don't need anyone in this house to open my jars because I can do it with my jar opener. And now I can have pasta with tomato sauce, whatever I want. So there we go. Uh, Peter says it was a Polish joke. Okay. Um, fair enough. Uh, thank you so much for the two dollar super chat. Really appreciate your face. Julie, be like, hi, Project Mel Music. Hey, up, hey, showing some love to the mods. I love it. I love it. Um, TWN DWL says, is Rocket your favorite Guardians character? Um, so yeah, Rocket actually is my favorite Marvel character. Uh, Drax comes as close second, but Rocket is my favorite out of all of Marvel. Um, Lightfully Div Divine says, Steph, what's your sign? I want to see if I'm right. Okay, so I'll give you my full kind of birth because I know it depends on where th things are. Uh, but I am Libran. Uh, I was born on the 9th of October, which was a Thursday, at 9.20 in the evening. There you go. Figure that out. Um, and Shobin Early, thank you so much for the £5 super chat. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, keep the support coming, guys. Uh, but the kid says, Steph has the best analytical brain. Well, um... For those that don't know, I am educated, guys. Yes. So um, I did go to university. I do have a degree. Uh, I did three years conflict resolution. And my degree was international relations and security studies. My dissertation was on the ethics and philosophy of international terrorism. And what was I going to do with all of that? Well, my plan was to get into police force, do my two years probation, and then get recruited from within to the counter-terrorism unit and analyze the intelligence coming through. 
that was where I was headed. Until my pancreas turns around and be like, yeah, no, pain. And that altered my whole trajectory of where I wanted to go in life. But all's well that ends well because here I am. <laughs> so yeah, um, people ask sometimes in my life, do I regret having a degree that I can't really use the way that I wanted to? No, I don't regret it at all. Uh, for two reasons. A, I had the university experience and it was amazing. Um, I went from being bullied at school, being an outcast, to getting into an education environment where I wasn't bullied, I was treated as an equal, and we all got along with, like, adults. Well, as adult as you can be at, like, 18, 19, 20, 21, but you know what I mean, right? It was so cool. I was invited to house parties, parties, like, it, it was cool, right? So, Yeah. Um, and the all-nighters at the library. I did a lot of all-nighters at the library and I loved it. I loved studying at the library at night and doing all-nighters because it meant that you basically had the library to yourself and you had all the books to yourself and it was just, it was amazing. You could have a room to yourself and I'd be there with like four big massive bottles of Coca-Cola to keep me up and snacks as I did like my dissertations and my S's and it. It was fun. It was fun. And the second reason why I don't regret it is because I do use still my degree just in different ways now. So, like, for example, uh, when I do, like, my linguistic analysis um, videos on here, that's part of my degree. Um, when I just do my analysis on stories, that is part of my degree as well. So I use it in different ways. I use it in different ways. Um, Anna says I can't get a super chat to show the doggy with farting hearts how do other people manage to get it please I'm not too sure can someone answer that for Anna Marie uh, Tina May okay here we go here's another one trying let's, let's do this uh, thank you so much for the $5 super chat and she's asking what did the buffalo say when he dropped his son off at school bison again a really, really cool play on words there. I respect that. But buffaloes don't go to school. They're in the field and they eat grass and run around. And if you're in front of one, you don't want to be. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Plus they don't talk. They don't talk. Like, and how does a buffalo go to school? Like, how do they, like, sit in the chairs with, like, the school desk and everything and write and, you know, do homework and stuff? Like, that's why buffaloes don't go to school. So, yeah. Uh, it doesn't make sense <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me but Tina May thank you so much for trying who else wants to try and make me laugh or want me to drax up their joke Um, let me know let me know uh, Julie says, I live in California. Yeah, I know a lot of you live over there. Uh, for the kids, says, I can't wait to meet you, Steph. I'm in LA. Woohoo! Yeah, boy. Um, Adventures Inward. Uh, thank you so much for the $5 super chat saying, I'm afraid for the calendar, its days are numbered. Okay, I'm assuming this is another joke as well. Because of the laughing emoji face at the end. But why would you be afraid of the calendar? Its days aren't numbered. Because it continues, like, another year and another year and another year and another year, like, um, time is continuous, like, 
I actually don't get that one. No, I, I actually literally don't get that one. I'm afraid for the calendar, it's days are numbered. There's just like, then a new month that starts, and then another month that starts, like it doesn't end. No. Thank you for playing. Uh, But yeah, that, that one, no. No, no, I've really draxed that one up, haven't I? Uh, thank you so much anyway. Uh, who else wants to try and make me laugh or wants me to drax their joke? Uh, send me a super chat. Uh, Rosemary with no E says, hey, just saw the stream was live. Well, thank you so much, Rosemary, uh, for jumping in. Really appreciate your face. And Lightfully Divine, thank you so much for the ginger doggy farting arts moment. Really, really appreciate your face for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My favorite super chat sticker. Uh, Richard Charters. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Five pound super chat. <sighs> okay. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. What field? No, legitimately, what field? Like the field of documentaries, the field of film, the field of comedy, thriller, directing, music, sound, supporting actor, actor. Like, what field did he win the award in? And why would a scarecrow be winning an award? A scarecrow is an inanimate object. It's not real. It's not a living thing. It's not a person. Huh? Thanks for playing, Richard. Uh, I think I just draxed up your joke. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Rothound asks, uh, did you hear about the new ceremony the Royal Palace Guards perform when Prince Harry and Emma are in town? It's called the Changing of the Locks. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now that's funny. That's funny, Rothound. Snaps, you just made me laugh. I love that one. Uh, Ninja Vestos, thank you so much for the one pound ninety nine uh, super chat saying I am Groot. We are Groot. There you go. Uh, there we are. Um, Matthew says uh, Steph has the same birthday as Sharon Osborne. I also think I share the same death day as. Um, John Lennon, I believe. Uh, even funnier, I have the same birthday as Piers Morgan. Respect, respect. Dude, we're 599 likes. We're on the tipping point of 600 likes. So if one of you out there hasn't smashed that like button, let's do it right now so we can get to 600 likes. Thank you very nicely. Appreciate you. Uh, also, as well, um, we are at 71,958 Alton Nerds that have subscribed. So we are climbing slowly but surely. So let's get it done, guys. Let's get it done. PWNDLL says, Steph is a tough audience. Yeah, I am actually. It's because I take everything so literal. Like even Andy's like, Steph, stop being Drax right now. It's a thing now. It's like a saying. Like, Steph, don't be a Drax on this. I'm like, I can't help it. <laughs> um. Gail says you need to think out of the box to get the jokes. Yeah, and that's why I really do not play. I play inside the box, not outside. <laughs> With when it comes to logic. Um, Hazel Monty Engel says, Tries telling a try telling Steph a joke and the joke is on you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, right? Uh, thank you so much for the two pound super chat. I do drax it so much. I really, really do. Um, Vivia Wag, um, thank you so much for the 17 DWK says, Want to hear a joke? Meghan Markle. 
Yeah, she pretty much is, isn't she? Unfortunately, ain't a laughing matter because, you know, the damage that she's caused when it comes to the British public and the royal family, it's not a laughing matter, unfortunately. Absolute cowbag. Uh, Rick says, Steph was a case of how to make laugh. She takes everything too literally. Yeah, I know who I am. I know who I am. And I am a Drax, uh, especially when it comes to jokes. Um, now, uh, I just uh, scroll down. First and foremost, Ms. S from earlier on. Thank you so much for the wonderful PayPal. Uh, saying, hi, Steph, just wanted to send a daily reminder that you're amazing and so worth it. You've helped so many people through YouTube and other media source and are helping us in so many ways. Love you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Also, as well, um, my goodness, Jean Rick, thank you so much for that wonderful PayPal hunt, one of our OGs, uh, saying your hair is fabulous. Happy Sunday. And Steph, the alternate nerd, they hunt. Aww. Well, happy Sunday to you too, Jean. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for that. Um, okay, um, Adventures Inward, uh, I will send you a Zoom link straight after the stream and we can have a chat. We can have a chat. And KVB, I've seen your uh, email. Um, yeah, I can certainly help with that. Uh, we'll discuss it afterwards and, um, yeah, see if there's anything that can happen with that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tina May says, Rot Hound wins the entire internet. Oh, yeah. That was a good joke. That was a good joke. Hey, when I find a good joke, it's a good joke and I will laugh at it. So there we go. Um, Cheryl Kushner says, I just shared your video on Facebook. Oh, thank Thank you appreciate it uh mls law show says steph did you change your hair i like it this is can't be bothered hair this is can't be bothered to straighten it so i let it just go natural this is what you get so there we go um <laughs> right guys i am actually going to be winding down this stream uh we've been going for about an hour and 45 minutes and it's past midnight. Uh, and so, yeah, guys, uh, if you've got any last minute super chat, so if you want to try and make me laugh or you want me to drax your joke, uh, send me a super chat uh, or my favorite super chat sticker, the ginger doggy farting hearts. Or alternatively, if anyone wants to jump into today's gifting war before we end, you've got that opportunity as well when I get my teeth back in. But oh my goodness, we are now at 71,960 alter nerds uh, that have subscribed to this channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, uh, for clicking that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate you all. My goodness. Um, make sure you stay tuned, guys, for next week because, yep, the Daily Nerds are coming back. Uh, so I'm trying to do three videos a day now. One video that's non megzi and Hazza, and then two on Hazza and Megzi. Uh, the one non uh, Hazza and Megzi video that will be released at six o'clock UK time. Uh, the second one then gets released at nine o'clock UK time, and then the third one gets released at eleven o'clock uh, UK time. So make sure you keep up to date with all my videos. Give them all the love, like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to end it here. Adventures Inward, I'm going to send you a Zoom link. So we're going to chat behind the scenes. Uh, but oh my goodness, before we go, here he is. Thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. Okay. I, I think she's going to try and make me laugh. I'm either going to laugh or I'm going to drax it. Let's see. Uh, my favourite. Why did the archaeologist hate their life? Their career was in ruins. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going to drax it. But I'm not laughing at it either. It's more like a smile. Like, oh, yeah. That was a 
good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Fair play. Fair play. Uh, Sophia J says, Tuesday Tarot, is it live or pre-recorded? The pre-recorded for now. For now. So, yeah, every Tuesday is Tuesday Royal Tarot. Uh, so there is a new episode that will be released on Tuesday at 9 o'clock UK time. So do stay tuned for that. Uh, but, yeah, guys. I think that is it for me. Uh, so, oh my goodness, we got to, woo, 68 new leaders for today's stream. I want to thank everyone that took part in today's Gift Do More and everyone that joined as a leader off their own stream. Everyone that liked this stream. We're up to 637 likes. We blew past that monkey. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to speak to my uh, animator and see if we can, you know, do a monkey animation. I think that would be good. Uh, so thank you so much for everyone that liked, that subscribed, that's commented, that kept me company today, that sent me a super chat, a PayPal, um, all your support. Thank you, thank you so, so much. For those that are watching live on the replay and you got this far, bloody hell, you got this far, make sure on your way out, if you haven't done so already, you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button. Right there, I'll be honest with you. Uh, like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. And as always, in any of my pre-recorded videos, if you've got some very strong feelings about what's being discussed, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's always below the videos right here because it does guarantee a response from me. And Savage Wolf, I see you. Thank you so much for your continued support for the leadership for the past two months. Uh, saying, going to ask Tesco ma manager to look for goat sausage and laugh my ass off for you. <laughs> Do it! Do it! And then, next time I'm live, let me know how it goes. Let me know how it goes. That would be really, really cool if you did that. My goodness. Uh, with that being said, I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you so much for all your support and love. And until the next time, you guys.